Let's start this video off with a little quiz. What do these three photos have in common? Well, other than the fact that they're pretty boring photos, they're all taken at the photographer's eye level. Hello, I'm Paul Fontanelli, and this is PhotographyTV.com. Now, I mentioned in the intro, those three photographs are pretty boring because they were all taken at the photographer's eye level. During this video, we're going to talk about how critical it is to have different angles or perspectives on your photographs. And the reason that's so important is that we walk around every day at our eye level. That's how we see the world. So when we see a photograph that's taken at a different level or a different angle or perspective, it really grabs our attention. And so we're going to break this video down to three parts. First, we're going to talk about the effect that angles have on your photographs. Or is it the effect that angles have on your photographs? I don't know. If you know, leave a note in the comment. Let's just say the impact that angles have on your photographs. And so second, we'll give you a quick tip for photographing kids. And then third, we'll talk about don't be lazy. All right, so let's get started by looking at the impact that angles have on your photographs. Let's go back to one of those first boring shots taken at eye level. Take a look how just changing the angle slightly to a lower, different perspective really enhances the photograph. So instead of having that boring eye level shot, here we're a lot lower, it just adds a different dimension and perspective to the shot, a much better image by simply changing the angle. And so this lower angle is probably gonna be my favorite shot. I enjoy it because it allows you to give a, a different perspective. And what I like about shooting from a lower angle is that it makes your subject appear bigger and it adds a, a more grand element to the shot. And as you can see in that lower point of view, it really adds a nice impact to the photograph in really enhancing the shot by getting lower and having that different angle. And so another idea for the impact that angles have on your photographs is just trying to find a unique point of view. And so here's a, a few examples of unique point of views. And so underwater shots, that's always a unique point of view. It always grabs people's attention to be able to see shots from underwater. This was taken with a simple GoPro. Here's a shot of boots. So obviously getting low there, but just a different perspective and angle on the boots. That's a picture of shoes but somehow it's interesting because it's just a different, unique point of view. Here's one of Shaylin swinging. A really interesting point of view looking right up at her, the sky behind her, uh, just a great point of view changing the angle. And then here's another example of why having unique points of view and angles can really enhance a photograph. We were out at Yosemite National Park and we saw this guy slacklining across the cliffs, which was crazy and I got some great photographs of him but instead of taking every photograph from the same angle of him crossing the, the slack lining which is amazing what really enhanced the story was getting a unique point of view on the slack line so I was able to find the rock that it was holding the slack, slack line down where it was tethered down and looking through the slack line was just a unique point of view and so that's another reason to get different points of views not so it just has the shot stand alone by itself, but if you're putting together a photo book or a, a, a story of photos, having different points of view really help enhance the overall story of photographs. And so that was the first tip on just different angles and perspectives is just the impact that angles and perspectives can have on your photographs. And so next, let's look at a quick tip for taking pictures of kids. Now earlier I mentioned that eye level is not a good way to take pictures. But when you're taking pictures of kids, you do want to get to their eye level. So think not at my eye level, but I do want to get to their eye level because a bad shot would be shooting a picture of a smaller child down from above their head. But if you can get low, get on their eye level, as you can see, it really enhances the shot being at their eye level. So you saw the example of Ethan. Here's a shot of Shaylin just playing outside right at her eye level, really brings her to life by being at that level. And then here's a third one, 
Haley jumping into the pool down at her level. She's coming right at the camera. So those are important perspectives when taking pictures of kids is to get down at their level. And so now that we've talked about the impact of angles on photographs, a quick tip for taking pictures of kids, I'm going to talk about the, the third tip, which is don't be lazy. Getting different angles, getting different perspectives takes a little bit of work. You got to move your feet. You got to go around. Here's a fun story that I got Jesse's permission to share is that we were at Olympic National Park hanging out at Lake Crescent, just having a drink. And I had my camera by my side and Jesse had a camera by her side as well. And we're just having a drinks and these ducks walk up. And Jesse grabs her camera, sitting down, looks over, takes a picture of the ducks. Boring shot. She knows it. She laughs about it now. But I actually thought the ducks were really well colored. The water in the background make a great shot. So I got up out of the chair, went, got a different perspective and angle. Jesse actually took my picture of taking the ducks picture and got a much better photograph simply because I got out of the chair, walked over, got low, took the different angle, different perspective. So when you are taking photographs, don't be lazy, get out, walk around, get low, crouch down if you can, get higher, different angles. It really is going to enhance your photograph by getting those different unique points of view. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe now and check out photographytv.com for more videos.